Hello folks and welcome. MX23.3. So this is the third reboot of the MX23 series of the XFCE desktop and I'm using the standard version which uses a 6.1 series kernel. If you have newer hardware toys in your computer you may want to try the uh, advanced hardware support edition. I'll show, make mention of that because we're going to go visit um, the uh, MX's website to cover some details about what's new. And then I'm going to talk about something a user just left me a message two days ago when this came out. They wanted to know how come this says pinned and not moved on both these icons. Well, I can't answer that question for you, but I can show you how to fix that in case you need to move those to, let's say, different locations on your panel. So I'm going to show you how to address that. I'll even go further if you're missing the panel. I'll show you how to recover from that and how to move it down to the bottom if you like. So let's start with the preliminaries. I'm X23.3 XFCE desktop. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. Welcome folks. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, don't let the name um, deter you from doing that. Linux is for any age, but the name of my channel is Linux for Seniors. Icon should be in the corner of a person with yellow brackets, if you'd like to subscribe. Let's talk about what's new. I'll go full screen my way. MX23.3 looks like it got released a couple, three days ago. So let's do a little bit of reading. I'm not going to bore you to death with all this stuff, but again, this is the third refresh of the 23 series. One of the things that it includes is the 12.5 bookworm base software. In other words, toward the end of the video, I'll talk a little bit about software. Build essential packages are included uh, on the ISO. A little bit about OEM modes, a little bit about pipe wire, a little bit about updated manual, which is currently sitting here. If you got the de standard default, if you delete that, go search for it. Um, locale tools, a little bit about system D and um, many language updates. All right, so about the kernel part, Linux kernel. So XFCE, KDE, and Fluxbox. We're just talking XFCE today. So it's a 6.1 series kernel, series kernel. If you need um, some of the newer toys in your computer, then the Advanced Hardware Support Edition does have the 6.8 series kernel. And if you're into Raspberry Pi stuff, then it also has that. So where can you get all that good stuff if you are fairly new to MX or are trying to uh, install MX. Well, you can go to MX's website, mxlinux.org. It's a very intuitive page. You just uh, click the download section. If you are wanting the XFCE desktop, you have four flavors. That's their flagship. Standard version of the 64-bit is the top one. Then there's the 32-bit and the advanced hardware support edition for you folks that have the newer toys, newer hardware uses a higher version Linux kernel, and then the Raspberry Pi is down here. All right, if you've never heard of my channel, I do have over 300 videos for you. And um, if you are a subscriber, you can always click that and just type in MX and it will start, start finding videos on MX. All right, if you don't like to do the search thing, you can always just click. So again, I have a library of lots of videos and this is not my first channel. Okay, now let's talk about the panel bar. Since the user left me a message, how do I fix this? I'd like to move that Thunar file manager. In this current state, you can't. All right, the same thing was with the Firefox. It just says pinned and edit. Okay, if you want, I'll move these out of the way. Okay, so basically that's all you have. And that's all you have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with that. I'm also going to cover the fact that if you're missing the panel bar, how to recover from it and also moving the panel bar downstairs. So the first thing I want to do is actually click that and it'll remove that icon. Same thing goes with that. So go to your MX menu and uh, I'll start with the Firefox. Now there's a couple of different ways that I can put these icons on the panel, but I'm going to just do it the old fashioned way. Add to panel. Right click on the icon, add to panel. 
it puts it right below the MX icon. Then I'm going to type in Thunar and do the same thing. Right click, add to panel. Now I got both icons sitting here. The way these panels work is if when you right click and do the move thing, anytime you see a red line, you can drop the icon. Okay, I'm going to do it up here. And I'm going to do the same with the Firefox. Once you have these up here, then you have the moves or the removes. With the Thunar one, I have a shortcut to my home, computer, trash can, and etc. I also have a move button. There's no pinned in here anymore. These operate just the same way. Just wanted to click on that and open that for you. All right, so I'm going to restore the panel back to default. You do that with the tweak tool. In case that ever happens and you just want to restore the panel. Whatever you do, I would suggest not closing this box though, but I'm going to show you if you make that mistake, what's going to happen. Panel bar goes away. So let's say you closed all that by mistake. A lot of people will panic. Maybe some will reinstall the system. Don't do that. However, um, some people will say, hey, I got a start button or a Windows button on my keyboard. Maybe I can use that to open the panel. Let's try it. Oh, got a failed send debus message. Not a good thing. Well, don't panic. Just right click on your screen, look for applications, look for settings, and find the MX Tweak tool. Just open that. All right, do the restore panel and hit apply. You may get one more error box, but just leave it alone. Okay, just wait, be patient. If you don't get the panel showing up on your left side, then you can click display panel vertically and hit apply again. But mine returned as you can see. All right, so these are back to the pinned again. And the size of the bar is original. I enlarged it for you on the video part earlier. But now let's talk about moving this downstairs. You can also move the existing vertical panel on the right hand side. Okay, now it's over here. All right, so the MX menu would be on this side. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna switch this back and we're gonna click display panel horizontally and move it to the bottom, which is the default on the top. Now the panel is downstairs and it has lots of room currently, but it is small. You can also select the top. MX has very nice tools when it comes to this. All right, so I'm going to leave it just like in this orientation. And I'm going to make this bar a little bit larger icon wise. So I'm going to right click anywhere in here, hit panel preferences and crank this number up a little bit. You can do a screenshot if you feel more comfortable. Okay. I'm going to leave it roughly in this size. All right. So uh, if you are going to be playing with this, just keep in mind, that's probably not a good idea. You can't squeeze too many icons in there. You could, I also don't recommend turning that off. So I'm going to use the full size. All right, we still have the same problem though. Pin to dock. We don't have a move. So if I wanted that over here, or if I wanted this over here, same thing with Firefox. I just have two items, pin to dock. So let's get rid of those. All right, there are two ways you can place these icons in this position here. Again, the most common way is to right click, add to panel, puts it in the corner. This time on this panel, it puts it here on the right hand side. Again, this video is designed for new users. That's why I'm rehashing this. And then you can hit move and wherever a red line appears. Okay. I can even go over here if I wanted to, if I find that red line. Now I'm going to remove this icon. This may be a little bit harder for some folks, but I'm going to give you another option of doing this. So grab the Firefox icon, click and hold it with your computer mouse, and then kind of bounce it around until you get a red line. If you don't find a red line, um, you can move it to the other side. You can see those red lines appearing if you look real close, filming in 1920 by 1080. Let go of it. Create launcher. Okay, Thunar. Do the same thing. Bounce it around until I find a red line. Create launcher. 
Again, not everybody's cup of tea. However, now I have a move and some other goodies. I don't have a pin anymore. Okay, I still have a move. So in case you decide to move your icon, you can do that rather easily. Okay. All right. Now that you've uh, got that trick out of the way, again, if your panel is missing, right click, Applications, Settings, Tweak Tool. Be patient. Let's talk a little bit about software. Software is, uh, let me make this larger for you. For the new folks, by the way, when you reset this, it resets this also. So your favorites are listed in here and you can put in anything as favorites. Um, one of the favorites you should have installed is the MX package installer. Now these are kind of like shortcuts to favorite applications that MX put in there for you. They do have drop down trees. And uh, let's say you don't like the Firefox or you want to install another browser. Um, you know, you can just click that and hit install. You can also do searches. And when you're in this tab here and you do your search and nothing is open, Click the enable repos and you may see something else. There's also flat pack software in here. So this is MX package installer. That's not the only way to install software besides terminal in this machine. All right, so you can use terminal also, but you can also type in S Y for synaptic package manager, and it's going to give you a package count after you log in. Keep in mind, there is some updates been done here also. So Debian Bookworm 12.5. 65,000 plus packages are listed in here. I'm sure you can find a thing or two. And uh, you can do a search by description and name. My favorite usually is the name if, it, if I know the name of the package or application. And you can also do quick filter. If you're wanting to just to click, what are these legends look like? Well, I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of grayish, whitish. It's not installed. So all of these are not installed. So if I wanted to install that first one for whatever reason, it uh, looks like a game, I could just click that, mark it for install. If it requires other goodies, then you just mark them. After that, you hit apply. So where's the software coming from? Well, let's talk about that. They're called repositories, or repos. Some people call those. If you want, I'll make this box larger for you. So you can see all these references to Debian Bookworm in here. And then you can see one reference to the MX repo. So that's where the stuff is coming from. Anyways, folks, thank you for watching. <laughs>